loved an old lady. But before I tell you about this old lady, I'm going to tell you something about Cookie Land. Now, they called this place Cookie Land because that was all they had for to eat was cookies. Wow! Of course, they had every kinds of cookies. They had lettuce cookies, mashed potatoes cookies, grits cookies. Why, they even had winter stocking cookies so they wouldn't get to be. Well, anyway, this old lady decided go to the cupboard and get a coconut macaroon cookie that she had baked a long time ago. So she got out this old rickety ladder that her old husband had built for her before he died. A loony death in a hell star out on the front lawn. Well, anyway, this tired old lady. A witch? No, not a witch. Just a tired old lady climbed up on this rickety ladder into the cupboard and reached into the cookie jar and all she found was a hard as a rock raisin and a dead mouse. What happened? She died. Why? She starved to death because she forgot the recipe. Some kids in the neighborhood found her dead on the kitchen floor with a message written in flour under the sink that said, bake a cookie for me. Did you like that story?
Oh, a little strapped, yeah. Pops oh, right up! Isn't that beautiful, I want to have a 95 toy and you Miss Dolls everywhere. You can have a hot waffle any time when you wear this hat. Well, oh, yeah. Yeah. All right, sweetheart, come on up here. Oh. Yeah. Just you, darling. Give her a chance. What's your name now, there? Bridget. Bridget. And how old are you, Bridget? Eleven. Eleven. Bridget, would you like to pull the portable ketose cord? Yeah. Just let me get a cup here. Go ahead. Give it a little time. That's enough. All right, now, Bridget, for your test, I'm going to ask you to do the wooden spoon hop. All right, everybody snap your fingers and help push it up. Say it. Oh, isn't she far out there? That's right, Bridget. All right, here's a couple of tickets to the big show. Oh. <laughs>
to demonstrate the girl with the golden goose. If she won't lead us all in a parade!
Wendy. Well, bye, Wendy. Gotta go home now. There's Robin building a nest in our backyard. Yeah. And I've got this box of string and stuff I can throw back there. In case he needs it. Bye. Bye. Duncan, okay. on us. Yeah. Let me tell you, I'm 
go, Ben. I believe your rice a little bit on the stale side of things. Yes, yes, it, is. yes it is. Gary right. does know blondes have more fun now. Uh-oh. Oh, show us how they walk. Blow it in the wind. Blow it in the wind. Flash flood. Oh, Lord. In the fee fat 
and listen to the warm ground breathing back. And I'd wonder how the earth got so black. <laughs> black eyed feet, black eyed feet. If you're wondering where this song comes from, then take a look at me. Black eyed feet. Black-eyed If you're wondering where this song comes from, then you take a look at me. In summer, I pick the blossoms from the fever. And I would wind them through my hair. Then I'd scoop the black dirt up and toss it. Whee! You know, Bo, I must have been blessing that people. Cause it was quiet and holy there. <laughs> black eyed pig, black eyed pig. If you're wondering where this song comes from, then take a look at me. Black eyed pig, black eyed pig. If you're wondering where this song comes from, then what do you do? Take a look at you. That's right. Yep. Listen. Later on in the summer, when the bees were ready to eat, I went down to the bee bed. The air was smelling sweet. I gazed into the garden, and there to my surprise, the bee bed. And the pots were slippers fine. And the water from the rainy pool, the jewels of the Netherlands. I was a ruler of the kingdom. My subjects were so fine. If you want a favor from me, then ask me to die. Black eyed me. What to call me? You call me your majesty. Black eyed me. Black eyed me. Now listen. If you're wondering what to call me, you call me your majesty. <laughs> no, I made that up. But you know, I used to always be out in the backpack. Yeah. And that's what they came to call me all the time, Black Eyed Pea. That's how I got my name. Black Eyed Pea? Yes, Bubba. Can I be your friend? Well, I guess you better be. Come on. <laughs> Black Eyed Pea? Yes. Do you like cars? No. Not even big, long red cars that go really fast? No. Do you like TV? Uh-uh. Watch it, I'll break you too. <laughs> Mama? Yeah? Do you like grits? What? I said, do you like grits? Never heard of them. You will have to be my friend. You heard of them. <laughs> How about black? Well, maybe. What? We'll see. God?
Your space beamer helmet with the built-in far-out pockets for cheat notes. <laughs> well, come on, kids! Get to this! Well, what do you have? What do we have? It's a real thing. It's a love thing. It's a god thing. It's a... Do you have any flutes or lutes? Do you have any directions on making friends with fishes? Yeah, I got a few ideas. <laughs> Do you have any lessons on making yourself a pair of shoes? Shoes? I'd like to have a pair of, I'd like to have a pair of boots. Miss <laughs> Dolly, mm -hmm. honey, do you make your own bread? Because I would just love to have some of that bread. <laughs> <laughs> do you know how to skip stones? Skip st stones? Skip stones? Do you have any seeds? Uh, you mean super <laughs> soft, the space steam, and silver tonic water days? No, just vegetable seeds. I'd love to have a little garden by my back door. I'd like to have rutabaga seeds. Rutabaga seeds? I'd be happy with carrots. Oh, yeah, what would you? Do you know I make oh. black eyed peas? Black eyed? Uh. No? All right, you take one bag of black dirt, the water, the hoe, the seeds, and some cow pie. You must have plenty of that around here, Miss Doe. <laughs> Teach you two kids a lesson? Yeah! yeah. You kids don't seem to know what you need to live! Yeah! You don't seem to know what's good for you in life! Yeah. We'll make you kids rich and fat, cute and glamorous! Strong and rich! We'll give you kids the new of shoes with shiny fingers! Go, Jet Cat! Doll sets that swim in the sink! And a bike with parties inside! And a fat red candy face electric! Yes, 
control and reverse the wheels, can the upper red finish, but right over your head and turn it real fast. It's just like hers. I know what you people need. A little bit of skill.
Can this thing take your shoes off and rub your tie on feet? Well, I wouldn't know about that now. Can it squeeze lemonade and do the white house? Oh, I don't think well, so. Well, if it can, I'm going to get me a couple of them things and get rid of you two on tie to this back. Well, <laughs> she, 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 she talked now, What did you two do to get these seven folks chasing after you? Oh, just ask them if they knew how to skip stones. Uh -huh. And what they say? No. And we ask them if they could make any bread. what they say to that? No. Oh. And we also ask them if they had any directions on making black eyed peas, didn't we, both? Yeah. And what you two say? Oh, oh nothing. We just asked them if they wanted their umbrella. Yeah. And they said no. Uh -huh. What kind of folks is it that don't even know how to mend an umbrella? Well, most kinds these days, I expect. Most people just throw away everything. Let's get the least bit old and buy something new. They don't fix nothing, Mary. They don't care to preserve nothing that's old, mm -hmm. nothing that's been good to them for years. Instead, they're looking for something new. And shiny, new and shiny, Bill. But just the other day, I seen this umbrella that didn't even look like one. Oh. <laughs> the only way I could tell that's what the man thought it was was uh, when it started to rain, he put the damn thing on his head. <laughs> I'll show you what it looked like. It had a window here, and it had another window here. It had a third window over there. It had a big window here, four windows. It looked like a decorated rocket. Oh, Ruth! Well, that's right. Well, hell, he'd been better off with a garbage can. <laughs> what? What? I have to make up something to do with most of that stuff they had to sell. Why? They had this one thing there called a Ramus Oh, I don't know what it was. <laughs> Kids, but it seems, seems to me, Mary, that most folks today never heard of a glass of plain water. They look like they never heard of plain old pewter. <laughs> you know, there was one thing there that I wanted. Me neither. <laughs> well, look here. What was the name of these selling folks? What did they go by? The Stale King Company. <laughs> that pictures. Ain't nothing you can do with a hunk of stale cake except nothing. <laughs> it's no wonder to me. Yeah, but they're passing that stuff out and the kids are taking things a while mm -hmm. when they put it in their shop. And they're paying this big money for all that stuff mm -hmm. you're buying. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and some of them got this real shiny stuff to take out. Yeah. Maybe we Don't should try. Don't say it. You want to talk to a pig or something, boy? <laughs> they had this one man. He looked just like a pig. <laughs> They had this one pig there that looked just like a man. <laughs> well, now, I, I think we're just about ready. Yes, I believe we're about ready here. Bring it on. Let's see now. Yes, sir. Oh, yeah. Da 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 da. Da 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 da. Oh, the stale cake and the real cake. All right, now. Everybody take one of these cups now, because now you're going to get a chance to laugh. A chance to try some of an old recipe that my mother gave me a long time ago. Now she told me, now Bill, one of these days you're going to get a chance to make this recipe after I'm long and gone. And I want you to remember this because then you're going to let someone taste this. So now here I'm doing it right now. Now this is an old recipe, Mother Mary. Tell me what it's like. Well, it tastes old, Bill, but it's good. <laughs> <All right. laughs> Delicious. Wow, these cookies are the best I ever tasted. Yeah. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Tell them you two. Well, well, not everybody seems to think that Mother Mary's cookies are the very best cookies they've ever tasted. Why, they're terrific! Yeah, Yeah, that's right. But not everybody likes the same thing. Now, you know and I know that Mother Mary's cookies are the very best cookies you've ever tasted. Now, but I know so many people who think other cookies are bad. You know, like those people that was eating away on that stale cake. And if you don't know what's good for you in the first place, how are you going to tell the difference when you see it? When it's looking you in the face. No, sir. You got a nose to taste my sugar and spice. Now, I take you two, for instance. You like to sit up in a tree. Mm -hmm. You like to sit up on the roof. The wind and the water. Yep. And singing. Mm -hmm. yep. And sitting out in the back patch. Mm -hmm. Well, maybe your nose is fine enough to know when a cookie is set and fine. But don't you believe, babies, that everybody knows it? Because there's plenty of folks out there that would be perfectly happy with one of them portable, whatever you call them. They think they need that to make them happy. Amen to that. Amen. Amen. But we know what we like, and we do it. So let's enjoy it. Groceries. Oh, okay. Put them right back there anyway. Right. Thank you. Mary, I'm going to get it out. You okay. Hurry up. I'm getting it out. Thank you. I've got 
got it out. Come on over here, Bubba. I want to show you one of my favorite things. This is it. Now, we couldn't get the piano in the matchbox house because it was too big. But Needle and Bill <laughs> fixed up this old keyboard here for me, and it works like magic. You just push on these keys, and the notes comes up. It works just fine. Just listen. I don't hear it. That's just it, baby. You can't hear it till you hear it. Like you can't taste it till you taste it. But when you hear it, you hear it. And we hear it just fine. Right, you two? Yeah, right, that's right. Okay. Let me try. Okay, come on.
detect the smell of burnt cake creeping past my nose. What do you think? Jacob, before I'm through with this place, I'm taking over this entire town. 